With the latest release of TPS version 234, we've added some features that will help streamline navigating your client list and provide enhanced tools to manage your workflow in TPS. It's important to have inactive clients in your database for reporting and historical purposes, but day to day you really only want to focus on your active clients. Now TPS has an easy way to filter the program to hide inactive clients. When I filter for just active clients, all inactive clients will be hidden from view in the Client section, Time Entry, and Payment screens. This makes these areas much more focused on the clients you actually work on, as the list isn't muddied up with clients that are long gone. You can also make use of our new Partner filter in the same way. If I'm partner Donna White, and I only want to see my clients, now I don't have to scroll through my other partner's clients to find just mine. And again, this filter will extend to the Billing screen as well. And then in the client section itself, we've added two more options for columns, the year end and the group fields. By adding these columns to your client list view, you'll then be able to sort on these columns. So that would be an easy way to see which clients are either grouped together or have the same year end. Throughout the program, you'll see a small envelope icon, which is for creating an email for the highlighted client. This feature requires that you have the link with Outlook turned on and it will create a new email for your client pulling the email address from the client properties. It will also make an entry in the client log showing that an email was sent to that client on this date with this particular subject line. TPS has always had the ability to alert employees of outstanding items in the client log whenever they log into the program, but it's easy to forget about that alert as the day goes on. Live Alerts now requires that the recipient marks the alert as red or it will keep reminding them throughout the day, even if they don't log off the program. You can set how frequently you want to be reminded under Tools, Customize, Alerts. I've got mine set to remind every 120 minutes. But don't worry, even if they've marked the alert as red, the employee will still be alerted to this task every time they log into the program until they enter a completion date. This new tool helps keep the employee accountable and ensures that the client log entry has been read and not ignored. I'm going to move over to the due date calendar screen now to show you what's new there. We've always had the ability to mark the whole range of due dates as complete or extended using these icons at the top, but now we've added two more icons to help make this screen even more user friendly. The single head icon allows me to assign a single employee to a whole range of due dates. I use either my shift key or control key to select my range, and then I click the single head icon to choose the employee I want to assign. I can use the stoplight icon to assign the same status to a range of due dates. Let's say I've completed these W-2s and mailed them out to the clients. I'll select the range of clients and assign status mailed out to all of them. This is much quicker than assigning an employee or a status one at a time to each due date. We've also added a year-end column to the due date calendar so that you can easily see what year-end your client has. This is pulling the information from the Client Properties General tab. These new features and enhancements are sure to help you make the most of your TPS software. If you haven't already updated to TPS 2.9682.234, contact support at one 877 and we'll be happy to help you download and install right away.